Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been working on the Can-Am Outlander 650 here. It's 2021. And I did some, uh, I put some new stuff on it, I guess you could say. I don't know if you can tell on the front bumper. There's something new. Can't really tell it, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's this guy. It's a six inch rough country LED light bar all mounted up there this is also the black series it's all blacked out except for the very center of the lights which I really like um, plus they come with these nice little covers which is kind of nice you know not everybody does that that's for sure but yeah, this is what they are. Um, so it's a 2400 lumen, 30 watt spot beam, waterproof to some degree. Obviously, it's the Blackout series, such a six inch single row Cree LED. And then I also got the Black Series two inch square Cree LED lights. Uh, those I actually put right down here if you can see them up there or not there it is also come with the little caps so those light up the sides and the rear of the machine quite well because those are the floodlights they give you the choice of getting those square ones in flood or in spotlight. So I got the flood. Um, that one's mounted up there. And uh, I used all the factory wiring harnesses. Uh, you just have to spool up a lot. Like for the two square ones, I have it all spooled up right here. And then for the six inch light bar up front, I have it all spooled up right here. There's a nice little pocket there. Uh, I don't really care for these switches that they send with it. Obviously, you've probably heard other people say that. Um, but I'll probably replace them at some point. That's why I haven't mounted them anywhere. I'll probably get some different switches, mount them right here where it looks like they should go. Uh, but yeah, so I did that. So let's, let's turn them on real quick here. Give you an idea. It's not dark out, obviously, but you know, there that is. There's that one. And then these ones still have the caps on it, but they these ones, they glow red. So if you have them on and they're back here, you know, no big deal. But, yeah. So, yeah. I tried to hide the lights as well as possible so that, that way you don't really see them, don't really notice them if you're not looking for them, which is what I like, you know. Try and keep stuff looking stock as long as possible and then, you know, all that. And also, I don't know if you noticed, if you go out to your machine, if it's similar to mine and you look, right here is the reflector back here, the red reflector on its mounting bracket. So what I did was I just took this off and it gave me a perfect spot to mount this guy. Plus I just used the factory bolt since it had a nice lock nut and everything on it. I just went ahead and used the factory bolt and voila, there you go. Gives you a perfect mounting spot for your LED lights. But uh, yeah, because otherwise on this side, I probably wouldn't have had room to put it anywhere like right here, let's say. You could have put it maybe up there, but. So yeah, that gave me a good spot to mount it. Otherwise I would have had to have maybe put it over here or try to figure out something else, but. So yeah, those worked out really well, but. Yeah, so yeah, 
I like how they worked out and they're all blacked out. Matches the machine very well. Like see there, you don't even notice it. I mean, you'd have to be here to notice it. You can't see it on the camera till you get there, right there. Then you can start to see it, but I mean, unless you're looking for it, you're not gonna notice it. But yeah, I think that's probably the best uh, LED light placement for this Can-Am Outlander. Um, I was going to try and maybe put it here, but I mean, these mounts, you would have had to use different mounts, obviously, um, which is okay if you can find them, but I just went with the factory mounts, drilled a little tiny pilot hole and then screwed metal, black metal screws, high quality metal screws into it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> if it's, if it moves, the bumper's probably going to be moving on you. So, so yeah, those are all nice mounted up there. And then as far as being in the way of your winch, I, cause I had thought of that. I mean, your winch would have to be so, you know, at such a steep angle that I don't think it would really matter to be honest with you you're probably never going to go quite that steep but uh so yeah so that worked out really well i really like them it turned out you know i like that they're hidden they're all black and so yeah we'll see how they do i haven't taken them out riding anywhere at night yet so we'll see how they turn out but as far as installation and mounting goes and everything I think, you know, this placement's the best for the Can-Am Outlander, and yeah, I think it's really nice. So if you're looking to do something like this, definitely go with the Blacked Out series, uh, Rough Country, and uh, yeah, mount them up, because it, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> but, yeah, so thank you for watching the video. We'll catch you later.